Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel today. As you can see, my skin is looking not not great. My self tan has kind of completely faded off of my face. Not to mention, I've been traveling recently and I was in the sun a lot, so I have more hyperpigmentation on my face than usual. So I wanted to film another get ready with me because I'm getting ready anyway, so might as well just jump on in. Not much has changed since the last get ready with me, just a few products, but I also wanted to add what I do as far as skincare goes before I even put makeup on my face because that's very important. So as you guys can see here, I have like this lovely hyperpigmentation called melasma. What I use for that is called hydroquinone. It's basically a skin bleaching correcting serum. And this one is from Obagi. You can usually buy this at doctor's offices in a kit or sometimes they'll sell it alone on its own. And this is a 4% hydroquinone. This is really the only thing that I've found that helps a lot with my hyperpigmentation. Vitamin C is also really great, but this one is the one that pretty much fades it the quickest. They tell you actually not to use this more than three months at a time. I'm not totally sure that I follow that rule always, but I'm gonna use it today because we got a lot of things happening. The only other product I've seen that has hydroquinone in it that's over the counter, over the counter, more like over the Sephora counter is by Murad. I think it has other ingredients in it, but it's clear. I think it's like $60. It's a 2% hydroquinone, which is a little bit less strong than this one, but at the same time, it, it works. I pretty much just take a very small amount and I just kind of apply it to the areas that are darkened. I actually don't know what really causes melasma, but a lot of times women will get it when they're pregnant, which I'm not pregnant, or if they have a lot of sun exposure, heat, that kind of thing. There's really no cure. There are things that can kind of help lighten it. Okay, now that that's done, we're gonna go into vitamin C. It's very important. This is the CE Ferulic from SkinCeuticals. If you have acne prone skin, usually you wanna stay away from the CE Ferulic and you wanna to go towards their product called C Floritin because it doesn't have the E in it. And vitamin E is what makes a lot of people break out sometimes. And in fact, I usually use the C Floritin, but lately I've been using the CE Ferulic and I've been getting small little pimples on my face and I don't like it. So I may have to switch back. Wow, look how red my face gets when I rub on it. Well, that's good. I'm basically traveling for the next month, nonstop. Which is interesting because I don't love flying. I don't love it. Is that my favorite? Hate it. First, I'm going to LA. My sister is picking me up there from the airport. We're going down to San Diego. We're celebrating Thanksgiving there. Then I'm gonna go back to LA, see some friends, do some things. And then from LA, I'm going to Western Canada, visit another friend there who owns some gyms. So we're gonna do a lot of flip stuff. Then I'm flying back to New York. And two days later, I'm going to the Dominican Republic. And then I'm going to Miami. I never thought that I would be traveling this much in my life, but it's happening and I'm okay with it. You know, I'm getting better at the flying thing. I'm trying to like condition myself into thinking that it's okay. So once I apply the vitamin C, I normally have serum and a moisturizer that I use regularly, but I kept that at home because I'm traveling. So I brought this one from Soap and Glory. This is the Glow Job and it's basically like a tinted moisturizer because my skin is looking a very pound. It comes out like a regular cream consistency and then once you apply it, it starts to blend into a color. As you can see, my face is very sensitive. As soon as you touch it, it turns red. Anyone else have that problem? No? Okay. Um, next is the 8 in 1 serum from Definage, and this one is very expensive. However, it claims to activate your basal cells in your skin that usually go dormant as you age. It helps with kind of like a youthful appearance and it also acts, they say, as a retinol. However, I still supplement and use a retinol at night as well. If you guys wanna see a night skincare routine, let me know, cause I can do that. I'm running out of this. I don't wanna buy another one. It's very expensive. I believe it has silicone in it, which helps really lock in whatever moisture you put on underneath of it, which is good because if you don't do that, you're losing moisture throughout the day. I'm not, I wish I could figure out like how to open this. Cause they got them locked up pretty tight. And I bet that there's like, you know, 
when you think you're running out of stuff, but you're really not, and there's like, you could probably scoop some out. I'll save that for later. We're gonna apply some sunscreen because that's extremely important, especially if you have almonds hyperpigmentation like me. The sun is not your friend, it is not your family. And the sunscreen that I use is the Elta MD Elements. It's the nicest sunscreen. I have not found one better. So I'm gonna put this on. I'm also gonna put this on my neck because that's important too. Those are the things that I put on my skin before we even apply makeup. It's a lot, I know. The next thing that I'm gonna apply on my skin is some primer. I got this Fenty Beauty sample, so I'm just gonna be using that. Also, have you guys noticed that when you stay at a hotel and you use their shampoo, your hair feels worse than it did before you even washed it? You notice that? Not good. What I've been doing is, I don't know if you guys know this, but when you order from Sephora online, you can always pick, I think it's like three samples with your order for free. So a lot of times I'll look for the ones that are like shampoo and conditioner because when I'm traveling, I can just throw those in my bag and then I have compact little nice shampoo and conditioner that won't ruin my hair and therefore will not ruin my day. Just a little just a little Gina tip for you. Once that's done, I'm gonna apply my foundation and I'm switching it up. I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape Foundation. And a lot of you might be thinking, oh wow, that's very dark. Yes, you are right. This is light medium beige. I usually wear this shade when I use self tanner. That's why I brought it with me because I plan on self tanning whilst traveling so that I have a nice golden glow. I like this one because it has like this they call it a doe foot applicator. Whoa, Gina, you know so much about makeup. Dabbing around, I have to use a little bit more than that. And then I'm gonna use my same foundation brush from Hourglass that I use for everything. This is the number two brush from Hourglass and then I'm just gonna like, you know, blend it. Yeah, it's looking a little dark, but you know, whatever. Do a little bit on my neck because of the pale situation. I'm gonna use that same under eye corrector that I used last time from Becca and this is the Becca under eye brightening corrector. So my sister wants me to help her cook for Thanksgiving. Let me tell you something. She is out of her mind. There is no way that I'm gonna be a good cook when it comes to Thanksgiving. I'm not horrible at cooking. You know, I can bake a chicken. I can make a sandwich. I can even boil some pasta, throw some sauce in there, some Parmesan, but other than that, I'm gonna need a lot of Thanksgiving hand-holding. She, on the other hand, is like this amazing cook. She bakes things. And you know how sometimes you have something that looks really pretty, but then it ends up tasting not so good? No, not her. She has no tricks up her sleeve. It looks pretty and it tastes spectacular every time. I'm gonna apply some chapstick right now because my lips are feeling a little chapped. And this chapstick. It's the best chapstick in the world. I was introduced to it from a dermatologist that I worked with and it is called Dr. Dan's and you can get this on Amazon. This is what it looks like. It is literally the only one that works. It has hydrocortisone in it. It's probably the number one thing that got me through six months of Accutane. We have concealer time. And this, you guys know, is my favorite part. Lots of concealer, conceal the under eyes, Conceal the jaw, the chin, the nose, the forehead, whatever you want. Honestly, I could paint my nails with this stuff and be happy. This is the Tarte Creaseless Concealer and I use the shade Fair. I like to think that I'm fair complexion wise, but also fair as like a human. I'm fair about a lot of things, you know? I'm gonna conceal my under eyes first. And then I just blend it with my fingers. do some on my eyelids, you know, so that they can feel like a part of it. And if you guys saw my other get ready with me, you know that that's not the only concealer we use. So next I use the Shape Tape Concealer from Tarte, and this is in Fair Neutral. And I love the Tarte concealers, they're amazing. But I will say my melasma is so stubborn that it just peeks through. It's like, hey, we're still here. Like just letting you know, that we're hiding a little bit because you did a good job with your makeup, but like we're still here and we're still in this and I'm just trying to get rid of it. I don't know if you guys can see, actually you definitely can. So this is where it's still peeking through and this is a pretty good concealer, you know? Someone's like, I'm confused. on my 
forehead here. I really love this brush. Like I feel like I can do everything with it. I can do my foundation, I could do my primer if I wanted to, I can do my concealer, my bronzer, my contour. Sometimes I use my bronzer and I put it on my eyelids and I'll just like pinch the brush and do like a little swipe action. It's very versatile and I just like to be efficient. I don't wanna have to bring like a million things with me when I travel. It's a little bit more covered, but as you can see, just not much I can do about that. I'm not gonna go too crazy. If I was going out somewhere, then I would probably pat in some more of the Shape Tape concealer onto the darkened areas. But since I'm just getting on a plane, I think I'll survive without it. Next up, we have the cream contour that I like to do. And I use the Fenty Beauty Stick in Amber. This is what it looks like. I did this last time too, but I just pretty much draw some contour scribbles. Scribbles. I haven't used that word in so long. Scribbles. And if you ever are wondering like, oh, where should I place my contour? Just do one of these, like, and then see how that creates a shadow. That's where you put it. Another Gina Pro tip. And by pro, I mean I'm like an amateur. So like, take it or leave it. I really like this because it's pretty compact. Before I was using some sort of cream contour palette, which had more color options, but it was like just so big that it was very difficult to travel with. And I also would dip in with like a brush, so it would get like dirty because like my hairs would sometimes get in it. This one, very clean, very travel friendly. It's a good, good buy. Blend in the contour now with the same brush. Surprise. I do use like a lighter hand when I do the cream contour blending because I don't want it to take off my foundation or my concealer underneath, which normally it doesn't. But depending on if I primed my face or like what foundation I'm using, sometimes it will start to come off. So I usually just do it a little bit lighter than I would for the rest of my face. It's crazy to think back before I went on Accutane how self-conscious I was about my skin. Like I would actually not go places if I was having a breakout because it would make me feel so horrible about my skin. And of course, like my skin is obviously not perfect now, but the fact that it has like one to two small pimples versus like three to five like very cystic painful pimples is a huge change for me. It's kind of crazy, it's weird, very weird, very cool. I always say, obviously my skin wasn't horrible before. It was like moderately bad, but Accutane, I would give it double thumbs up. It sounds horrible at first, but if you're an adult or you're suffering with cystic acne, it's very important because like, if you keep breaking out with huge cysts, your skin will scar and you don't want that. You wanna treat it and get rid of it. If nothing else is working for you, like topicals and other things like oral antibiotics, things like that, I say go for it. And if you guys wanna see my Accutane journey, I actually have it as a saved story on my Instagram in case you wanna see some cute little pimple videos. I'm going to do, I'm debating whether or not I want to do my setting powder first or my bronzer, but I think I'm going to do my bronzer first. And I actually am changing it up and using the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is what it looks like. And this is in the shade Bronzer. Very simple, easy to remember. I saw Kathleen Lights using this. I've mentioned her before. She's literally my favorite YouTuber. It smells like the beach. It smells like coconut vacation. I pretty much just follow the same contour with this. And this is a little bit lighter than the other bronzer I used last time, which I'm actually holding in my hand. This one is like super creamy, blendable, smells good, affordable. Pretty much anything Kathleen Light says, I agree with. Do a little bit of the jawline here and the neck. Some swirly twirlies down here, cause why not? So that's a good color for me today. Normally if I would wanna go like a little bit more dark, then I would use my Becca bronzer in Sunrise Waves, which is this one, which I used last time. And I would just normally go over this one with that a little bit if I wanted to deepen up my tan. But right now, no reason. I don't think I used my setting powder last time because sometimes I neglect to bring it with me when I travel just because it's like a big container. But this is the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Petter. Setting Petter translucent setting powder and this is the only setting powder that I use for my face and I love it. It's very nice, very great. I'm gonna use my same brush. I'm gonna set my under eyes first. Sometimes I don't set my makeup if I know that I'm not gonna be wearing it a long time or I'm just kind of like hanging out or my skin is feeling really dry and I won't do this stuff. 
but considering I'm gonna be out and about for several hours, then setting powder it is. I have a piece of glitter on my... Where did this glitter come from? Interesting. I'm gonna go in with some blush because I've been feeling it lately. Not sure why, but I've been feeling it lately. Usually I don't even apply blush because I'm like, mm, do I need it? And this one is just so travel friendly. I think I got it as like a birthday gift situation from NARS, from Sephora. And this one. And the color is called Gulu, G-O-U-L-U-E. No idea. I'm just gonna apply that. Kind of like where I smile where the apples on my cheeks are. Why do they call them apples? Weird, weird term. And I only apply like a very light amount because I'm not a fan of like very blushy looks. I think it has something to do with the fact that my skin gets red anyway. Now I'm just kind of rubbing this all over my face because why not? Okay, so once I do all of my powder things, I go in with a setting spray. And I definitely didn't use this last time, but I literally use this every single time I use my setting powder. If I don't use my setting powder, then I don't use this because I feel like I don't need to. These together are a miracle. If I do this, no setting spray, I don't love it. This and this together, yes, 100%. 10 out of 10 recommend. You guys have possibly heard me talk about this when I did my giveaway for Urban Decay, but this is the All Nighter Setting Spray. Mine is a bit dirty. I'm gonna do some of this. Some of you may be like, that was excessive. I may agree, but this makes me feel refreshed and good. My makeup like sinks in. My sister just texted me saying, don't worry, I'll be blaring the Christmas music, probably Little Drummer Boy, as we pull up to get you. Fun fact, I dislike Christmas music. Yeah, I said it, judge me. But I do not like it. And also, it's not even Thanksgiving yet, so is she, she is out of her mind. I'll say it again, she, something is wrong with her occasionally. There are a lot of things that are right about her, but something is very wrong with her when it comes to Christmas music. Not my favorite. And she knows it. She's gonna torture me with it now, so that's good. It's great. Thank you, Leah. Thank you. So for brows, I gotta mentally prepare for brows usually because they stress me out. But for brows, I'm switching it up. Usually I use my Anastasia Brow Wiz pencil, but today I'm just gonna be using powder. I don't know why I switched it, because I used to do powder brows a lot and then I got into the Brow Wiz, but now I'm feeling the powder again because I feel like sometimes it's more time efficient. And this is the medium brown. I actually do use both colors in here. I'm gonna show you because one of the colors looks very strange, like this weird light, that weird light color. But when you actually like apply it, it's just like a taupey, I'll try and show you, like a taupey brown. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna start with the darker color first. Give me a minute while I do this. <sighs> Deep breaths. Oh, I just brushed the hairs up kind of like blend the powder. And then I'm gonna use that lighter color and just kind of go through again, just to like give it some dimension and things. I'm using the lighter color kind of like closer to the this part of the brow. And I forgot to mention that this brush is the Anastasia number 12 brush. And it has like the little spoolie at the end. That was it. I think it's a little bit faster than using the Brow Wiz. And this is a little bit darker than the Brow Wiz color that I used, so I kind of like it. When my hair starts to grow out up here, it gets Kind of dark. What is this interesting hair piece there? Gina tricks. Once I'm done doing that, I'm gonna use my little eyelash curler, curl some lashes. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. Quick short story. So I was traveling last time to California and I didn't have any dry shampoo on me, but I didn't want to wash my hair. My hair was like getting kind of greasy. So guess what I did? Problem solver. I used my Laura Mercier setting powder with my brush, in my hair, and it worked. It worked. And if you're ever in need or like desperate or you're like stranded on an island with like just this for whatever reason, just, you know, do it a little this, kinda get it in there, same, works the same. But then, you know, I was more clever this time and I brought like a travel size uh, dry shampoo, so. Back to, back to where I was going. I also went to the gym last night and was doing some bars. I don't know if you guys saw the vlog that I did. Ripped my hand open. And this is the mascara that I've been using. 
It's the Thick and Fast from Soap and Glory. Still using it, still love it, still great. I don't even know which trip I'm like most excited for. Just all of them. I've never really done a ton of traveling until I got a little bit older and I was able to. And it's just so cool. It's cool to see like how other people live, what their lifestyles are like, the different climates is nice cause like it was snowing here and now I'm gonna go to the sunshine. Okay, did that without stabbing myself in the eye, which sometimes happens. And by sometimes I mean like, there's a good 30% chance I'm gonna stab myself in the eye with mascara each time I apply it. And then lastly, I'm gonna use my brow gel. This one is $5 billion brow. This was like $5 on the FabFitFun website because I subscribe to their box and I like it a lot. And actually, if you guys want me to do an unboxing from FabFitFun, let me know. I like a lot of their things and they usually have really good deals once you subscribe. They open up this shopping period to do like add-ons and everything is extremely low priced. Very discounted from the actual price. So I was like, $5 brow gel, I'm in. I've got five bucks. I should have bought more, but I wasn't thinking. I'm just gonna use this to kind of give my brows some texture and whatnot. And that's basically what we're gonna do today because I need to go. And that's how I normally do my makeup. I'm gonna try to film some more things whilst traveling, but if I lack the amount of uploads that I normally would do, then I apologize in advance. But there will definitely be some. And if you guys have anything that you wanna see, please make sure you let me know down below. And if you like this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe. And I will make sure that I list all the products that I used down below, because a few were different this time. Not a lot was different, but like a few were different. And if you like these get ready with me's, then I'll do more. You just gotta let me know down below. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you next time.